Hi, I'm Mireille Wimet. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Ottawa in the Department of Biochemistry, Microbiology and Immunology. And I started my lab in March 2017. It's here at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute. And part of my team currently, I have a senior technician, Esther Mack, and two undergraduate students from the TMM program at the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Ottawa. And that's Garrett Fairman and Sabrina Rabichaud. I'm Garrett Fairman. I'm a TMM student uh, doing my undergrad here with Dr. Wimay. And I'm investigating um, lipophagy as a means to treat atherosclerosis. Hi, my name is Sabrina and I work in Dr. Wimay's lab and I'm an undergraduate student. My project is trying to identify in which pathways uh, fat gets degraded in cells. So I isolate these lipid droplets that are highlighted here in green in order to see which proteins are involved in tagging them so they can get degraded by the cells. So my lab is focused on heart disease, particularly atherosclerosis. That is the buildup of cholesterol inside the artery wall. And within these plaques, there are foam cells. And inside these foam cells, there are organelles called lipid droplets. And really, we're interested in the mechanisms to break down these lipid droplets in order to remove cholesterol that accumulates inside atherosclerotic plaques. One particularly interesting pathway that we're interested in is autophagy. Autophagy is an evolutionarily conserved cell process by which cells degrade cytoplasmic components such as lipid droplets. And so if we can find ways to therapeutically enhance the autophagy breakdown of lipid droplets, then we can promote the reverse cholesterol, transport of cholesterol out of the artery wall to the circulation and um, for elimination from the the body through the feces. So cholesterol is really an essential part of the human body. Um, we need cholesterol. We acquire cholesterol through our diets and the cells of our bodies synthesize cholesterol. Um, the problem is when cholesterol becomes too much and there's a number of factors that can contribute to this such as poor diet, eating too much fatty foods and maybe not exercising enough and also people can have some genetic predispositions to high cholesterol levels. But if you have um, high cholesterol levels in your circulation over time, that's what leads to atherosclerosis and the buildup of cholesterol in plaques. And atherosclerosis can cause a heart attack or a stroke. And so we're looking at ways to clinically reduce cholesterol in patients. Um, there are some drugs currently on the market to lower plasma cholesterol levels, such as statins. Uh, but the problem is there really is no drug currently that efficiently removes pre-existing plaques that have already established in the arteries. So statins and cholesterol lowering, changing your diet, can stop the plaques that are already formed from getting bigger, but they won't necessarily shrink them and eliminate them. So that's what my lab is interested in doing.